Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with me, FarmSimD. We're in episode 38 and in this episode we need to sort out all of the sunflower oil or sunflower that we're going to turn to sunflower oil. It's October, autumn. Um, yeah, this is going to be a rough one. But we'll get it sorted out as we always do. I just want to get the Zetland in here. This is going to be a really big harvest. Now I'm not going to do everything on screen. Um, what I can do is do a time lapse. Now we've got two fields. <laughs> it's going to be a lot. What I've done is also off screen I've made some silage. Um, i mowed the grass down and I put it in our silage clamp almost 700,000 liters that came out of there well that's happy days and as you can see we almost broke <laughs> nothing new but by the end of this year or let's say by the end of February we'll have a lot of money back in our account I wonder why our field at the bottom is showing red yield. I mean for the amount of sunflower that I've already done. Maybe it's because I didn't do crop rotation. Who knows. Well I'm going to set this off for the worker and see what happens. Um, I quickly want to investigate why our field is showing poor results. Let's pull this back in yet. I know I don't have access. Right. Okay, put that on a worker. If we go in here, it does show perfect. Um, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it will improve. Okay. So while the worker carries on with this, uh, I just need to toggle into there quickly. If you look at our animals, we've got 30 cows, which is good. The feed is still good. The milk we're getting there, 32,000 liters. Chickens, we've got 500. And the sheep, we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 160. Whoa. Yeah, that's also getting there. It's producing wool. It's a good thing for the farm. So, I want to get all of this sunflower out of the ground. Next episode, the reason why we, I can't do it in this episode. Now, if I go to my screen for harvest. As you can see, we can harvest sugar beet. The only problem is I'm going to harvest it in November, which is our second quarter of or the second phase of harvesting because I need to sell a few things first in November the eggs once we sell the eggs I just want to see what we can what's all the products that we can sell in November it's the eggs and then in December I can sell the silage bales we've got and yeah that's it for December but that should cover us for the lease of the unit that we need and to put up a sugar mill I've had another idea as well I want to put up a greenhouse two greenhouses one greenhouse does grapes one greenhouse does olives but for now I'm just going to go with one greenhouse the reason for that is I just want to do olives because I want to do olive oil so I need to put up another oil production. One will just be for sunflower and the other will be just for the olive oil. So I'm going to have two, which is a good thing. Going to make mega bucks out of that as well. Well, the headland's almost done. And so is our money situation. 
I'm going to set this off for the worker to go straight down. Then I'll quickly jump in the Massey, hook up to a trailer. Just so that we can have it on hand. And then from there I'll kick it into a time lapse and we can get rolling. This is going to be... I think some flower will be okay. It's just a pity my yield is showing red. Um, I'll have to see why that is. But that's fine, as long as we get some crops out of the ground, I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm going to set this off on a worker, quickly rush over, get a trailer. And then from there we'll do a time lapse, which is good. I'm overshooting a bit just to ensure that I get everything in there. I also just want to ask for those who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, I'll really appreciate it. For those who have, thank you very much, I really appreciate you in full. Um, also, if... Well... Well, if you want to like this video, please do so. Yes, 700,000 liters. As you can see now, control menu. Well, yeah, it's 100% already. Which is a good thing for the farm. I mean, that alone is going to help us a lot. The next run that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hay in. Just so that we know. Okay, we sort it with hay. And the silage. That's going straight into the silo so that we can put it away for our cows. For now they don't consume that much, but you'll see when that cow pasture reaches its, capa its capacity, then it's going to go insane. What is our max speed travel on our combine? Uh, 10k's an hour? Whoa! This thing needs a service and diesel urgently. Well, we don't have it now. If we run out, then we have a bit of a problem. Oh, we've got diesel in our tank. I already purchased the service I can do later on. Once we shift fields, then I'll just go and fill it up quickly. If it's going to make it that long. I'm going to offload it now. I think I must quickly fill up before we carry on here. Yeah, let me fill up the header just so that I can travel through here. Because the last thing I need is for our combine to run out of diesel. That will be disastrous. Luckily the diesel tanks right here. I'm not going to perform a service now. Because we just don't have the finances for that as well. Well, I'm driving on the edge of the wheat here. Crop destruction is on. I don't want to destroy my own crops here. Well, the beets looking so good. Okay, while well, that's filling up. Let's have a look what the beat says. It should be ready to harvest now. Remove what is yet. That's ready to harvest. Oh, baby. So next month. In November. We'll be sorting that out. There our combine is filled up. It's ready to rock and roll again. We're going to get that in the field. Then straight away I'll hit the time lapse. Let that run. Or I'll just quickly offload this little bit that we've got in here. Not a little bit. That will help a lot. I'm just worried about the yield a little bit. So if you know why it's turning red instead of green, please do leave a comment. Give me your suggestion what I need to do to get it to go red. What I've done is I did put lime in. I did cultivate it. I've planted, then I've rolled it, and yeah, while I've planted it, it automatically put down fertilizer, which was enough. 
So I'm not sure why our yield is like that, but yeah, we'll go with it. Okay, so I'm going to do a time lapse, sit back and enjoy. Wow, what a harvest. Um, yeah, it took quite a long time and as you can see I had to stop the workers from engaging because our money situation is down the drain. So I've been pushing up and down, going all the way. What I need to do is to get the seeds into our production so that we can start the production up again so that we can make good money by the time sell date arrives. This has been a tough one. As you can see, we're already half past four in the afternoon in game. Hmm. Well, at least we're almost there now. It's not that bad. If you think about it, we're going to make money, so it's good. It's all in the name of farming. I'm going a bit to the left, as you can see. Well, that sugar beet's going to be an insane episode. Um, as you all know, sugar beet is extremely labor intensive. Well, there's nothing we can say. We must just do it, get it over and done with. Uh, it's going to be a tough one. As you can see, we've got a huge field full of it after that i think i'm going to transfer the sunflower to that field there get one wheat field back up so that we can get the nitrogen level back up and then maybe do one field sorghum um, as you can see the yield is not good i need to get things back to where they were nitrogen levels and all those things so we'll get to it. I just need to get the soil back to where it's supposed to be. And I'm pretty sure pretty soon we'll have to do soil samples. So yes, we're pushing forward. Um, I think we've already got... Uh, the, I haven't checked properly yet. I think we've got more than 100,000 liters of sunflower. The reason why I'm saying that is I had to go fetch the second trailer. Um, 
so that's good pick that up turn around I'm becoming a pro at this now haha <laughs> yeah body so here's the last strip of sunflower for this year hopefully it will be a good one um, if I can just have enough sunflower in our production to get that properly going off that will be good I mean we've been pushing hard on these sunflowers even the planting everything took a bit of time now off screen I'll mulch these fields these two cultivate them out um, line them up get them prepped up for the next crops that's going to come in here it seems like sunflower and corn don't like to be planted consecutively like two times in a row so what I'll have to do is swap fields it up I'll have to ensure that I don't plant sunflower where coil has been oh, where corn has been planted seems like it's drawing too much nitrogen out of the soil it's a pity but that's just the way precision farming works you need to be on your game the wheat is growing I see um, so that field is going to be wheat in there then where the sugar beet is now I'll put Hmm, sunflower in there then I'll put sorghum in here where is our planting or uh, wheat we're already a bit too late um, I might do two or a sorghum run and maybe an oat run yeah I think that's going to be a good idea because then we've got uh, enough for our flower production as well because as you know we're going to make flower not a flower like a blooming flower powder flower that's what I meant to say so yeah this I'll wash off screen as well ok there we are done I'm going to fold the header up and I'll just park this here one side because I do need to get it washed first properly clean this unit up as you can see it's very dirty now okay, that one is emptied out happy days whoa 124,665 liters what a whopper that's nice I like that a lot wow this poor mess is rattling apart but it's still doing its job Ooh, that weight is pushing us around a bit now to try and clear without damaging the crops as you know crop destruction is turned on there we threw ok let's hit it all the way to our production point quickly once we fill it up, we'll start it up so that it can carry on producing more of the sunflower oil. That will be a good thing. I'm not sure how many liters we're sitting on currently. I don't want to check now because I want this to go in. I want to see how much money we can make out of the pallets that's going to come out of there. One thing I'm certainly hoping for is a bigger harvester. Problem with that is our current harvester takes forever. Okay, dump that and dump that. Same time, go in. Thank you. does it switch on automatically when it dumps or do you need to go and physically switch on the production again well 
I'm sure we're gonna see now how many liters we've got in here. Seven. Take me away to the moonlight. Well, it's almost full. Uh, sunflower oil. Let's start that up. And how much sunflower oil do we have? 17,000 liters so far. Well, that will be a good thing for us. So I don't, I'm not complaining at all. That is distributing already. I also want to get an olive oil plant going. So yeah, that will be good. Let's run over to our tractor here. Go first person, knock it out of the ballpark, take this back to the farm and I think that's where we're going to conclude this one. It's been a nice one. It's been a long one. I've struggled a bit with a few of the things but we got it done. So I'm not complaining at all. So let's just get this over there. I see a few pallets of wool spawned again and also a few pallets of eggs. While I've been busy <laughs> I've been putting it flat on the ground and the grass also looks ready again so there we need to put, or mow it so that we can get to the hay. Let's park this in here. I need to detach from the rear trailer so that I can park them one by one. Oh, that's both trailers. No. Farm somebody. There we go. Okay, then I need to fetch this. Nice little fella of ours. Or well, not little. Wow, it's been a hard one, I'm not going to lie to you. It's been a tough one. But, it's all worth it. And you think it's going to be tough now. We want to expand all the fields. I might be in future buying like two or three additional plots. Just for crops. going to be a tough one. But, so nice. I hope this is going to fit through here without damaging anything let's see go against that fence yeah just stay against it yeah we're clearing the crops whoa no don't crash now please don't touch those crops I don't want any damages any losses oh golly that noise it always gets to me then we've got this 700,000 liters of silage as well. So if we make hay, although that hay is going to go straight in here, but I'm thinking of making hay bales. Just a few. A few meaning out of the whole field. So yeah, that's going to be great. And that's where we're going to conclude this episode. So I'll get all of this washed, put away neatly um, park them in their places where they belong and once I've done that then I'll start cultivating the fields and liming them and mulching them up and all those nice fancy things because as you can see our money is a bit of a problem wow 436 bucks left yikes that's not good but at least tomorrow or in November we can sell the eggs and then we can carry on from there again. Then I need to lease a sugar beet harvester. Why is my tongue twisting nowadays when I talk? I'll start talking, I know what I'm going to say and then out of the blue I just forget the whole sentence. But. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. Old age, I suppose. Okay, that's washed. So, if you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to share this video, please be my guest. If you want to leave a comment, please feel free to do so as well. 
I mean, the comment section is there for you guys. Please do not forget to click on that subscribe button. I really do need the subscribers. It will help me out a lot. So that's it for this one, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then I'm glad. So that's it for this one. See you all in the next one. Cheers.